I feel so bad for Philip Selway. Uh, Radiohead's drummer just released his own solo album and, and was really starting to get some attention with it. And then along comes Tom York to ruin everything. This is Tom York's second solo album, Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. And not unlike The King of Limbs or In Rainbows or those other Radiohead albums, Tom York is, is trying to push the boundaries of distribution and really how to sell, how to market an album. And it's really been a while since we've seen anything from him solo-wise. I think that his last solo full-length album was The Eraser, and uh, I remember when that, when that album came out at the time, people didn't really, people weren't crazy about it. And I think that that album is kind of a, it's, it's a slow burn, and I think that what, a lot of what was great about The Eraser really came with repeated listenings, because I think if you really like intently listen to it, uh, you mi it was easy to miss out on the way that some of those chords were put together. There was a lot of tension and a lot of release in the way that Tom York's musical electronic soundscapes kind of came together and then drifted apart. And then after The Eraser came out, uh, he got together with a few big names to, to do Atoms for Peace, which was kind of this super group. And they really kind of they really tried to blend the line of electronic instrumentation and organic instrumentation with a live band. And uh, it didn't work for me. Some people liked it. I thought that it was a little messy. I thought that was a little too much going on. But let's not forget about Radiohead. Radiohead's last full-length LP was The King of Limbs. And The King of Limbs is the only Radiohead album that I can't feel like I can defend. I think that uh, the band has released nothing but excellent albums, really until The King of Limbs. I will even defend Pablo Honey. But I think that everything, including Amnesiac and Hail to the Thief, are, are great. But I don't think they... The King of Limbs is. I think that it has one great song on it, Lotus Flower. And King of Lim the King of Limbs' biggest problem is that it's kind of directionless. It doesn't really feel like it has a guiding force, usually in Radiohead's music, that you really feel like the band is trying to communicate something, or the band is trying to convey a message. That was kind of missing with The King of Limbs. Uh, for the most part, it was amorphous. There wasn't a lot of structure. There wasn't a lot of momentum. It wasn't very accessible. And, you know, it, to me it just kind of felt like skittering beats and some wobbly electronics going on. And it didn't really do it for me. But, and that album is probably the most relevant release for, to for Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. So Tom York's second solo album has more in common with The King of Limbs than it does any other release that he's done so far. And the same problems that were on The King of Limbs, you're going to find again on Tomorrow's Modern Boxes, but maybe even to a bigger degree because there's not a lead single like... Lotus Flower to carry this thing. Instead, these are just eight tracks that just kind of come in and then just kind of leave. And, and there's not really a whole lot of pathos, I guess. There's, there's not really any catharsis to any of these songs. They don't really change while they're going on. Sometimes these loops are introduced and sometimes they uh, come out in interesting ways. I think Guess Again is an okay song. Uh, the Mother Load is an okay song. But for the most part, a lot of this is just forgettable. And, and honestly, you know, as much as I do like Tom York's voice, I don't feel like it really fits his musical backdrop. His warble is probably the most Tom Yorky it's ever been, and it just kind of feels rudderless. I mean, I, I hate to use the word directionless again and again, but that's kind of what this album feels like. There's no real through line to any of this. There's nothing that you, the listener, can grab a hold of and really uh, used to figure out what's going on or what Tom York is going through. I think that if you are a huge Tom York fan, uh, you're probably going to be at least a little disappointed by this. Uh, it really just feels like Tom York and Nigel Godrich kind of got in the studio and really experimented. And you get the sense that Tom York is really trying to figure out how to make this sound work, but I don't think that he's really able to figure it out within the context of Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. Uh, it's just six bucks for eight tracks, so that's not too bad. Um, but I still don't know if it's worth your time and investment to try to get to know this thing. So overall, it's not that great, but there are a few moments that hint that this could be something good in the future. This is a 6.0 out of 10. Okay, but I am interested in what you have to say about this. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you thought that I got this one wrong, did you love The Eraser and love Tomorrow's Modern Boxes? Or do you just hate Radiohead and you want to see it burn and you're glad that this album sucks? If you thought this review was helpful, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. Or better yet, check out earbuddy.net where you can find more reviews just like this one. And I think that's pretty much it. That's all that we have time for. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.